Hello, my name is Devika and I am the instructor for a Heavenly CNA. And today I'm going to show you the tutorials on how to complete the 17 skills for Headmaster um, training. For Perry Care, we need two barriers, one for the bed, one for the bedside table, a basin, soap, bath blanket, four washcloths, and two dry towels. I'm Devika, I'll be your nursing assistant today. I am going to do peri care on you, is that okay? All right. So with peri care, we're going to need a basin filled with warm water, soap, we're going to need four washcloths, two wash towels, and two barriers. So I'm going to pull my privacy curtain and go get my supplies. One barrier is to make sure this is where you're gonna put all your supplies on top of that barrier because you don't know what was on the table prior to. I have warm water and soap. All right, Mrs. Jones, test the water for me. So make sure that you're always testing the water prior to doing peri care with your patient. I'm going to raise the bed. All right, make sure the bed is locked. Oh, I forgot a bath blanket. I need a bath blanket. Apply the bath blanket over the patient. Pull the covers back. I am going to place a waterproof barrier up under Mrs. Jones so that her sheets does not get wet while we are doing peri care. Mrs. Jones, I'm gonna have you roll over to the left side for me. Okay. The only thing that should be showing when you're doing peri care is the peri area. I probably should have took that fully cut. Apply your gloves. And make sure that you're using soapy water when you are cleaning the patient. And when you are wiping the patient, each, you 
your tile should be in a square and each flap is to wipe a certain part of the area of your peri area. So this is one wipe, two, three, and four. Okay, so we're going to put some soap on here. So the first wipe goes straight down the center of the vaginal area and make sure that you are opening up the labia to get everything clean. So we got one swipe, one. This is to clean the outer side, the right side. Make sure we get in the creases and that's five. This goes into the hamper afterwards and you're going to rinse. If you use soap, you make sure you always rinse and you're gonna rinse the same way. We have one swipe down the middle, the right, the left, and the outer side goes into the hamper and you're going to pat dry. Now you'll have the patient roll over and you're going to clean the back end of them, which is the rectum. And you're always wiping from front to back. Soap. And we got one swipe up the rectum. We have the buttocks. And then clean in that crease. Hamper. One swipe up the back. We have the right buttocks, the left buttocks, and the creases. And we're going to do one wipe up the rectum, and we're going to pat dry. And at this time, you can remove your protective barrier. The goal is to make sure the patient stays covered. Let's Roll you over, Miss Jones. This goes in the trash. Dirty clothes bag. All right, Ms. Jones, is there anything else I could get for you? No. You have your call light here on your right-hand side. You throw your other barrier away. So we always have to empty your basin and dry it. 
prior to putting everything up. This is gonna go into the closet and then I have to wash my hands. So it, when you're washing your hands at the end of the skill, it has to be, you have to scrub for at least 20 seconds. So you're gonna turn your water on and you don't want your water blasting. Get your hands wet. And we're going to scrub. Make sure you get your wrist. Interlocking of the hands. Your fingers. Make sure you clean your nails. And when you rinse, you're going to rinse from the rinse down. And make sure that you do not touch the inside of the sink. You do not want to splatter the water. You just tap it and get the excess water off. And use a dry paper towel to shut the water off and into the um, trash and my skill is complete. Mm -hmm.